We will now continue with speaking part two. Describe a work of art that you really like. You should say what it is, who created it, where you saw it, and explain why you like it. Okay. My favorite art of all time is named Saturn Devoin His Sons. It's a horror painting by paint by Francisco Goza. Um, Francisco Goza, he was born well, I am of the road, sorry. Well, where do I see it? I saw it on YouTube one day. Um, I was very little, like just seven years old, and then I saw that thumbnail of a guy who was eating his sons. And then, by my interesting, I click on it, and I'm very disappointed in myself that I click on it. It's very scary. But when I saw the person who made that video explain me why the father is his son, and then I say, wow, that's very meaningful. And then when I go and research the painting and do some um, finding and meaning to it, I realize that I will get into it and very really love it. Why I love it is about the color. The color is very moody and dark. It's a brown with light brown, kind of disgusting. And uh, you know, the blood. The blood. You know, it's kind of sound disturbing, right? The blood and the way the painter paint the part of his son falling apart. That's his arm, his leg, and his butt. <laughs> Look. Thank you. It's very disgusting, but the fact that when the part is falling out, the father holds it in his, his hand and he's like, he don't want to the part of his son get dirt, get dirty. So he has to hold it like this. So. That's the second thing I like about the picture, is the meaning. The meaning of the picture is why the father is his son, that he just wants to protect his son, that he don't want to, his son to suffer the, the life that he lives in. So the, second, the third part is the emotion. Oh, the emotion is disgusting. Same his tea. There's some part of his son sucking his tea. Oh, disgusting. Ah, oh, the look. Yeah. Yeah, the look is very disturbing. And finally, what I really love about it is its history. It was made in the 80s. The, no, 1887, I guess. And it's not like it's kind of a private paint for the painter. He just loved to paint, then he put it in the kitchen. Yeah, he just paints for himself, then he put it in the kitchen. And until the nobody discovered it. Until 2000 and no, until the World War II, when the sound was destroying and the researcher found the painting. And people say what is it? What is it? And the Germany, Germany, you know it, uh, gave it to the government and Hitler, who really loved it. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, Hitler. <laughs> Hitler really loved it, so he gave it. Uh, he um, put it in the kitchen too. But no, not the kitchen this time, but the dining room. Ugh. Big sense for Hitler. Thank you very yeah, much. But then the prize of the picture is what is the most talk about. The prize of the picture first start at a thousand dollars, then two thousand eighteen it go up to what been five hundred million dollars. Like whoa, the picture is just like this. Okay? It's not very really large and it's funny. It's not talk anything like Mona Lisa or something, and it's disgusting too. But 
I don't know why. People just, they just want to make art expensive. Would you uh, agree with that? I do. Art is very expensive. Yeah, I no, I mean, it. agree that pictures should worth 500 million dollars? I do believe that. I do. We all know about Van Gogh and um, I don't know any other famous painters. Oh, it's not my forte. Thank you very much. We will now move on to speaking part three. Okay. In your, in your opinion, is art an important part of culture? In your opinion, is art an important part of culture? Mm, is art an important part of culture? Think about mm. the Vietnamese culture. Yes, art is a very important part of the culture, especially in Vietnam. In Vietnam, poem is the part, is the most important art form. Um, when you talk about the history of Vietnam and the culture, everything was seen or described in poem. The most famous poem, poems, is often written in the, the late 90s or the late 80s when the war is still continuing, when Frank is still in control of Vietnam. And yeah, just thank you very much. That's so hard. And what would life be like without art? I suck, you can't even suck. Seriously. Just imagine no art form and people just work like a robot. I mean, can you imagine that? No. I can't. Graphic design is also art. Yeah, everything is art, but okay. if it's art, it's going to be so boring. And people are just like, uh, people just think so logical and so scientific and it's just not human to me like you know art is human, human create art and art very human that's a nice way to put it yeah. thank you very much that completes the speaking test really? 